Hey guys, and welcome to the one where I talk about quitting. Welcome to Monday, and for some reason, North Carolina has, like, for the past few weeks, consistently been in the 70s and 80s with, like, there's been some rain or whatever, but it's, like, consistently been warm until today when the atmosphere decided to, like, flip the script on us and get to 55. So, hoodies and stuff. I don't know. I thought it was summer. All right, so I just put into the garage at work. It's meeting Monday and ready for this. I don't know about you guys, but this past weekend was just a, not a very productive weekend for me. There had nothing to do with rain this time. I just didn't really feel like doing much. And I think that's good sometimes. Sometimes it's good to take a break and step back. But also it makes me think about probably the best piece of advice I ever got for writing. And I think it's just as true with coding, and that's to try to do it every day, especially if you're learning, right? When I was learning how to write, I wanted to write all of the time, and I would have an idea for a story, and I would dive in, and eventually I would not have anything to write. I would come up with writer's block for myself, and I would stop writing. I would just take a day break, and then it would turn into two days, and then it would turn into three days, and by the time I figured it out, it was six months later, and I didn't want to write it that story anymore. I had 14 other ideas and they were all new and fresh and more interesting, I thought, than the one that I had before that I took a break from. This trap that you can fall in happens with code just the same. If you're learning how to code and you're on a good streak and then you get to something and it's hard and you don't quite understand it or whatever you're using to learn at the time doesn't fully explain it, it can be easy to say, well, I'm going to take a break from this and it turns in from a day to two days to three days and then three weeks later, you've forgotten what you've learned and you're not as good as you were before and you've got to be able to jump back in and jumping back in is a lot harder than keeping going so I guess that means what the real question is is how do you stay motivated So it's quitting time on Monday, it's about 5.45, a little later than I usually leave, but I had to finish some things up. Going on vacation here soon, so I'm trying to get stuff done before that happens. I wanted to bring up the quitting thing because I've just not been very productive recently. This past weekend wasn't super productive for me for my side project. I've been releasing only one video a week instead of two, like I've been promising, and I've just kind of been getting drug into this law of productivity, which I do tend to like ebb and flow when it comes to that. But I don't want to do that right now. I think talking about it and sharing my experience with you guys will help, you know, motivate me to get more aggressive with getting work done and making these videos for you. What I want to know from you guys is, what do you guys do when you're in kind of a rut? Like if you haven't coded in a couple of days, what do you do to kickstart that? For me, I just kind of need to tell myself that I have to do it. Set a deadline, set a goal, set something that I have to do in the very short term. And that way it'll kind of kickstart my productivity. I will just be kind of dead set, laser focused and motivated to get that one thing done. I'm back at home and it's a little bit past nine and I really didn't feel motivated to do much of anything tonight either, but I just sat down at my computer and spent 30 minutes working on my project. And 30 minutes is more than nothing. When I say work on something every day, it doesn't have to be for hours at a time. Just keep it fresh in your mind, keep that passion up and keep that motivation going. And sometimes a little 30 minute burst can lead to a couple hours of productivity with an awesome breakthrough and it can just be worth it. When I came home today, I really didn't feel like working on anything. I don't know if you guys have heard, but like StarCraft, the first one, original one is free right now. You can download it from Blizzard. If anybody knows middle school Aaron, they would know that's a big deal in my life. I was obsessed with StarCraft in middle school, Zerglings for life. You know what I'm saying? But I sat down and got some coding done and that is important and valuable and it's well worth my time. Now I'm finishing up this recording and I'm gonna edit this all together so I can throw it up on the internet. Hopefully release two videos this week and two videos next week and two videos after that, just like I've said. And I know I've been bad about replying to comments and emails. And I'm sorry about that. I've just been getting behind and everything piling up just So I am going to catch up 
tonight and tomorrow, and we're back on track now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you wanna let me know how you stay motivated or current struggles that you're having with motivation, you can leave those there. I really appreciate all the support, all the likes and comments. Those are so awesome. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have a really good rest of your day, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.